Uzbekistan is a real paradise for gourmets. Only here, under the hot Asian sun, the most delicious fruits and vegetables in the world ripen and filled with juice. Uzbek cuisine is famous far beyond the borders of Uzbekistan. This is amber pilaf, manti melting in your mouth, exuding a wonderful aroma of flatbread and, of course, delicious crispy samsa. In fact, samsa is baked puff pastry with a unique aroma and taste of the East. It can be undoubtedly called the part of the Uzbek people. There are several dozen varieties of samsa, differing from each other not only in the recipe and filling, but also in the characteristic cooking technology. Today we want to show you the step-by-step -step preparation of the famous Jizak Samsa, which is a favorite dish not only of locals, but also of guests. This dish is considered a Jizak's brand. We specially went to Jizak with our film crew to shoot this video. Jizak is a big city that is considered a transport hub in the central part of Uzbekistan, located between Tashkent and Samarkand. In the Middle Ages, a commercial road from Ustrashtana led through Jizak, which was considered one of the most important on the Silk Road for the Ustrashtana Jade, so famous in the West. The name of the city comes from the Sogdian word Dizak, which means small fortress, small fort. Today, Jizak is considered one of the important industrial cities of Uzbekistan with a population of over a million inhabitants. And here we arrived at our destination. This restaurant is considered one of the best in Jizak, which serves delicious samsa. It is interesting that the local population calls it samsa of the Kipchaks. There is a proverb. If there is no physical strength left, go to Kipchak and eat samsa. The secrets of cooking such samsa have been passed down from generation to generation for several centuries. Samsa is so delicious here that this restaurant sells up to 1,500 samsa per day and on holidays up to 2,000. Compared to ordinary samsa, Jizak samsa is 3-4 times larger. Now imagine how many ingredients and how much labor is required to prepare that much samsa. Let's watch with you the whole process of making the Jizak samsa from beginning to end. And maybe after watching the video, some of you will have a desire to cook this delicious dish on your own. And so, we begin to watch the cooking process. As the owner of this place told us, they make the dough for the Jizak Samsa at night so that it can have a good rest until early morning. The dough must be very hard so that the Samsa stays in the tundra during baking. The ingredients for the dough are water, salt, flour and vegetable oil. You need to knead the dough very carefully so that no lamps remain. Then the dough is covered with an oil cloth and set to rest for 3-4 hours for big portion. The rested dough is cut into cubes. Each is kneaded and rolled with a special rolling pin so that it is denser in the center and as thin as possible at the edges. You should get large, thin circles. For the filling, we use beef. 
fat of beef, ram's fat tail, onions, salt, and spices like coriander and cumin. Meat and beef fat are cut into large pieces. The fat tail is cut separately. The onion is chopped very thinly. We season the meat and fat with spices and prepare portions for each samsa. Then the needed amount of onion is taken, mixed with the prepared beef and placed in the center of the rolled dough. At the very top, a large piece of ram's tail fat is placed, which will melt during baking and give the dish an exquisite aroma. All the edges of the dough are pinched in the center, securely fixing them. This is how the molding of the Jizak Samsa continues. The tandoor is fired with wood or gas. Tandoor picks up the required heat after an hour after ignition. When the tandoor is hot enough, you need to reduce the flame and sprinkle a little water. Samsa is attached to the walls of the tandoor by wearing special protective gloves. Samsa is baked in a tandoor until golden brown. This will take about 30-40 minutes. In a wood fire, tandoor, meat, dough, and onions are simultaneously stewed, languished and fried, preserving the maximum juiciness, aroma and acquiring an appetizing crust. We take out samsa from the tandoor using a special device. Spread samsa on top with butter or margarine to make it juicier. Jizak Samsa is served upside down so that the juice doesn't flow and so that it is convenient to eat. Well, friends, it is time for us to try Jizak Samsa. I wish us bon appétit and you enjoy watching. I cannot pass to you this aroma and taste of this wonderful dish. If you want to see it for yourself, be sure to visit Jizak and try Jizak Samsa. You will be delighted. I promise you that. See you in the next videos. Bye-bye.